Among all the creatures of the universe, there is one commonality between them all. We love to fly. We are made for it, formed by our histories on our respective homeworlds. What does a terrestrially evolved species love to do? Stay on the ground like they are supposed to? You would be correct if the universe operated logically. There is, however, one anomaly. Those featherless biopeds that stand out like a sore thumb everywhere they go. I'm talking about the humans, of course. Creatures with dense bones and arms and legs made for running on solid ground rather than soaring. So how come they walk among us, the ones built for flight? It was a dream as old as their civilization to fly. One does not need to look long for myths of humans gluing feathers to themselves with wax, or motion pictures of humans taming beasts with wings, riding on their backs through the sky. It has even found a way into their language. Free as a bird, for example. Their flags were adorned with creatures calling the sky their home. The symbol of wisdom in ancient times was an avian, the owl. An eagle, another avian, has adorned many military uniforms and seals throughout the ages. Insane if you think about it. Evolution should have thoroughly ingrained a deep fear of heights in them, for they should never see anything else but solid ground beneath them. There are such individuals among them, feeling terror and sickness at the sight of distant ground. And still, a considerable number of them throw themselves off cliffs with wings made of plastic. For fun! The wish to fly is and always has been inherently human. But nature is cruel, denying them this for generations. Undeterred, they worked for the ages, tinkering and crafting, until the first humans were set free, flying in beasts of metal, canvas and fire. It only took them 66 years after their first flight through the air to go and travel through the void of space and landing on their moon. 66 years. That is only one generation for them. A boy who witnessed the first flying contraptions when he was little could see humanity walking on the moon. Way faster than anyone else in the galaxy. They had tasted the freedom we had enjoyed since our beginning, grabbed it, and never let it go. What impressed me the most, however, is how much better they are at flying through the air than us so-called naturals. The machines they use, called planes, can fly through the air at several times the speed of sound. The record for the fastest flight amongst the rest of the galaxy is only 30% of the speed of sound for that species' homeworld. It is not far-fetched to say that they have beaten nature at her own game, evolving for flight faster and better in some regards than any of its creations ever could. I quite like these humans. Yes, they may not be avians like myself in body, but their spirit soars higher and more freely than any of ours.